Mayor Pete, welcome to Rock Hill. Thank you. Thank you. What a crowd. I know it's more traditional to have somebody who's been going to work in Washington every day for years or, or decades. But I would argue we would be better off if Washington started looking more like our best run cities and towns instead of the other way around. But it's time for us to confront the idea that any state or any county or any community has to be conservative just because it's been voting Republican for the last few years. Where is it written that this has to be a Republican state? But I believe we have the chance to build a generational alliance around the hope of a better future. If we don't step up, who will? Who has more at stake than those who will be picking up the pieces of the decisions that are being made right now? I belong to the generation that will be called the school shooting generation. I was in high school when the Columbine shooting happened. I belong to the generation that will be dealing with the effects of climate change for as long as we live. I belong to the generation that could be economically the first in America. History. History. <laughs> the first in history to be worse off than our parents if nothing is done to change the trajectory of our economy. And not because we haven't done our part, because this is also the generation that contributed the bulk of the troops after 9-11. So why not have this generation contribute some leaders at the highest level of our national politics? And don't listen to anybody who tells you that appealing to working class voters robbed by economic insecurity should ever involve retreating one inch on our party's bedrock commitment to racial and social justice. I'm interested in freedom to, freedom to live a life of your choosing. Freedom to go out and start a small business, which is only possible if you know that leaving your job doesn't mean losing your health care. Freedom to organize for a fair day's wage for a good day's work. The freedom that people in neighborhoods and communities of color will never experience until the veil of mistrust is lifted between people of color and the law enforcement officers whose job is to keep them safe. The freedom to make your own reproductive health 